You are searching for some basic synth sounds? Today I will show you how to build them in Ableton's integrated wavetable synthesizer. I use them quite a lot in my tracks and they are easy to do. It's nothing special, but good bread and butter stuff. Let's have a look. Ok, so let's get started. I open up an instance of a wavetable and set the waveform to Sawtooth. I add a bit of gain, activate the sub and change the tone a bit. Then I activate the second oscillator and set it to white noise. With this one I go on a higher level. You see it's 0 dB and here on oscillator 1 it's minus 8. Then I open up the filter inside the wavetable in PRD mode. That makes a bit of saturation when you use it and set it to 24 dB. I also add the drive to 9 dB. Let's have a listen. Reduce the attack a little bit and shorten the release time. Add a bit of compression, a bit of more saturation, maybe some reverb. And don't forget the low cut if you want to play this synthesizer together with your bass line. The second synth I want to show you today is also made with a wavetable. I use something in a waveform between square and saw. On the second oscillator, I use the sync additive. I put it also on full volume. Again, I use the PRD filter inside because I really love it. And I use it on the 20 dB. Add a bit of drive, a bit of resonance, and use the frequency. To make this one a little bit more interesting, I added an auto filter and routed an LFO from Max for Life to it. It's set to a rate of 4.2 hard because this is around an 8th note in 160 BPM I'm currently in. The offset decides how much the filter will open. That gives a nice wobbling effect. I added also a chorus with around 40% wet. Well, this is a bit too much. And again, some reverb and some compression. These were just some basic sounds. For sure, you can tweak them with delays, effects, whatever you like, play complex patterns or whatever. It's just a small starting point for your next production. <laughs>